Yo, what's up guys? Back at it with some Pekka. Top ladder, you know what I'm saying? Um, Got the Magic Archer, Poison, Electro Wizard, and Bandits. I'm just going to go for a Bandits in the back here. <clears throat> Let's see. He's not really making a play right now. Um, maybe it's Tornado. So I'm going to go for Magic Archer in the back. And this guy's got Goblins, so... Pretty interesting. I thought this guy would have a Tornado because he's waiting so long. Um, he's got Goblins and Phoenix. You know, just battle ramming opposite lane, playing passively. He's got a cannon, so I'm automatically going to think that this guy is, <clears throat> you know, what's it called? It's a Electro Giant. And this guy definitely is Electro Giant with the Golden Knight as well. He has everything that, you know, just says gold, or that says Electro Giant deck. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be, yeah, I'm going to play passively right now. Never cycle my P.E.K.K.A. until he plays his Electro Giant. Um, there are instances where I can P.E.K.K.A. when he has Electro Giant in his hand. For example, I have like a 4 Elixir advantage, or he doesn't have a Tornado. Um, you can definitely P.E.K.K.A. the back. Especially with the Minions variation, if he doesn't have a Tornado, you could P.E.K.K.A. the back if he has a, um Electro Giant in hand. Because he can't... Because he's more likely than not, he'll just Electro Giant the bridge if you peck up the back. And then you can just Electro Wizard knowing that he doesn't have Tornado, so he cannot Tornado the e -Wiz into the E-Giant. And then you're going to take a decent amount of damage, but you can just make a really massive dual lane push. So yeah. It's a little more trickier though with the Magic Archer variation because it's not as aggressive. Um, so yeah. I still wouldn't really advise that method, to be honest, though, unless you're extremely confident in doing it. Um, but yeah, he's going to go for a Phoenix right there. He's also going to go for a Lightning. It's going to bat around the back. And uh, I don't know, I feel like that's a pretty aggressive Lightning. I may honestly just P.E.K.K.A. this. And this is the time I'm going to P.E.K.K.A. because like I said, man, that was a pretty aggressive Lightning. So I think he might be kind of low on Elixir. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and just pour the pressure on as much as I can. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Bandit will get the connection, and look at all that damage right there. Look at all that damage right there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, he's gonna go for Electro Giant. It's gonna peck at this. That should honestly be game, though. That should honestly be game. Um, all I gotta do is poison zap it, essentially, so... Poison plus Zap, and that should basically be game. A really, really good game right there. Like I said, he was aggressive with the Lightning, so I capitalized on it. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Alright, here's the next game. I got Electro Wizard, Poison, Magic Archer, and Zap. He's going to go for a Goblin Gate in the back. Mm, and the Goblin Barrel. I'm going to go for my Electro Wizard right here, and I'm probably just going to counter push with this Electro Wizard. He's got Rascals. Rascals are honestly so strong right now. I've been seeing them a lot more. Um, probably just going to go for a Bandit here. And he's got Wall Breakers. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to have to eat that damage, to be quite honest with you. And to be quite honest, I don't even know if that Ghost was necessary as well. I was kind of predicting that he would maybe pop the ability to protect his Rascal Girls with the Mighty Miner. That's why I did that. But since he didn't even do that, it wasn't the greatest play, to be quite honest with you. I think I'm just going to peck at the back right here, though. This matchup is honestly not that good, though. I'll be honest. This matchup is pretty bad. Um, because he has just so much bait in his deck. It's really hard to kind of keep up. And, uh, yeah. You'll kind of see what I mean. Because if this guy plays well, I can't really do much. Let's see. I'm just going to Magic Archer right now. And that is pretty annoying that the Magic Archer locked onto the Rascal Boy. Okay, at least he's hitting the Princess now. I gotta be really careful here. <laughs> okay, Electro Wizard that. Bandit that. And I think I'm going to spam him because he probably has an Awkward Cycle. And that is pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to zap that as well. Maybe I can get a connection with this Battle Ram. And I do. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. 
That is a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Let's go. You take the tower. I'm just going to play really passively. I truly believe that this guy probably does not have a rocket in his deck. So um, I could probably just cycle the marcher in the back here. And I'm just kind of assuming that because he has so many other bait cards. When you see that a opponent has a ton of bait cards like double bait. For example, Dark Goblin and Princess. You kind of bet that they don't, they don't have a big spell. But um, that's just from what I see a lot. Okay, I'm going to poison all that for sure. And that should basically be game if I don't make any more or just many mistakes. If I just have a good solid defense, um, he can't really do anything anymore. So uh, it's going to Magic Archer right there. Go for Bandit right there. Go for Electro Wizard right here. And then the Marcher E-Wiz should clean everything up. So uh, yeah, really hard matchup, but I found a really solid opening in the beginning. Let's go for the next game. Alright, here's the next game. I got Bataram, Bandit, Electro Wizard, and Zap. Probably just go for a Bandit in the back here. It's got Executioner. Let's Bataram over here. It's got Zappies. Oh, that's so annoying, man. That is so annoying. I hate playing against Zappies, man. It's just, I don't know, it's just such a toxic card when using P.E.K.K.A. It's like really toxic, but um, not much I can do, just hopefully I can outplay it. Let's see. Okay, um... He's gonna save the good game, I don't really know why, but I do know that he has an awkward cycle, so I'm probably just gonna go for a Bandit plus Battle Rim right here, because he has, a, like I said, a really awkward cycle. He doesn't have Bowler or Zappies, so that's why I did that play. He's got the Golden Knight and Freeze, so that's really good information for me to know. Um, This matchup isn't that bad in Single Elixir, but in Double and Triple Elixir, especially Triple Elixir, I literally cannot break through no matter what because of the Zappies. Um, and obviously the Bowler and just everything, all that nonsense, man, all that nonsense, dude. Um, it just gets extremely difficult. I pack it right there because he was waiting a while, so he was probably going to try to get King Activation, so I definitely want to prevent that because that would just lower my chances even more to win the game if he got King Activation, so yeah. Go for Bandit right here for the Executioner. Um, it's all about this matchup now, which is about cycling properly, and I'm going to take a Zap right there because... That Executioner was locked onto my tower for some reason. It wasn't locked onto the tower, but it was locked onto my bandits, but it was still splashing through the bandits onto my tower, which is not good. And thankfully that Golden Knight didn't connect to my Magic Archer. I'm just going to peck at the back now because he doesn't have, you know, the greatest cycle at the moment. So that's why I'm doing that. He can't really pressure me because he just used Graveyard. Magic Archer is doing a lot of work right there. That is actually really nice. Mm, go for a bandit right here. I'm going to take a zap and probably just immediately Electro Wizard this Inferno Dragon to kind of preserve the health of my P.E.K.K.A. as long as I can. And I'm going to spam him. I think he's back to Bowler, but maybe I could... Aw, oh, come on, man. Maybe it will still get a hit, though. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. That's honestly really perfect. That's a lot of damage. At this point in time... Um, I could just stall out for the, the next minute and 50 seconds. Um, nothing really else to it. Like I said, I could just stall out because you can't break through my defense if I cycle my cards properly. If I cycle like super effectively, he cannot break through anymore. So, just gotta basically keep the poisons for the graveyards and um, not much else to it. Just try to get really good magic archer alignments to pierce through all his um, counter pushing cards and stuff like that. Let's go for the Electro Wizard opposite lane. And if I do need to cycle my, you know, my poison on his troops, because if he maybe stacks troops too much, then I have to make sure I play a Magic Archer and stuff like that for the graveyard. And just kind of spread out my troops and stuff, because he does have the freeze spell, so I don't want to give him too much freeze value. 
Okay, that golden eye ability was kind of annoying, but um, got the ghost with the bowler right there. It's gonna magic archer the back here, and just stall off for the next 50 seconds. Um, not really much else to it. I'm gonna go for a Pekka right here for the bowler. He's probably yeah, there's Inferno Dragon and the Executioner. So this is what I mean. I'm probably just gonna have to poison all this right here because he's gonna stack a lot. But my goal is to immediately try to cycle back to another poison, get some good Magic Archer alignments right here. And I'm already one card away from poison, so I should be chilling. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna poison the graveyard right there. Um, I'm just gonna Royal Ghost the Zappies and battle ram over here to kind of distract that bowler and uh yeah i think i honestly played this matchup extremely extremely well i'm gonna pekka up high perfect perfect just take a zap as well and that should uh that should be game really really well played and uh yeah let's go ahead and jump to the next one all right here's the next game i got pekka zap Bandits and Magic Archer. Bandit the back right there. He's got the Skeleton King. I'll just go for the Magic Archer in the back. Hmm. He's got the Phoenix as well. Maybe Splash Yard. Go for Electro Wizard in the back here. He's got goblins and poison. I don't really know what this is to be quite honest with you. Um, but I went for Pekka there because he essentially played six elixir with the goblins plus the poison. Okay, so he's this deck. Okay, he's that spawner deck. The super, super popular spawner deck. Um I'm just kind of still trying to figure out ways to beat this matchup effectively. Yeah, effectively with Pekka, but so far what I've been doing is single lane pressuring a ton uh, because you want to force them to stack everything in one lane because everything in their deck is kind of susceptible to poison if you really think about it. So their Goblin Huts, their Rascals, you know, with the Rascal Girl, the Skeleton King ability, um, the Goblins, they're all kind of susceptible to poison if you really think about it in the long run. So if you just keep stacking in one lane and it's poisoning everything, that's how you kind of try to maximize the value. Um, it's also best if you maybe try to bait out the poison too, so they don't really poison on defense. Um, just like this, he's gonna poison the magic archer, so maybe I could just go ahead and just try to do another, um, you know, a single lane pressure now. Now that his poison's out of rotation, so I don't need to worry about him getting so much value anymore on the defense if I stack in one lane. Um, but so far this, met this method has been working out for me. Maybe there's a different method. Uh, obviously, I'll have to keep playing against the matchup, but um, yeah. It's gonna take a zap right there. And good thing he didn't really get the Skeleton King. Okay, it doesn't really matter though, to be quite honest. I'm just gonna go for a Royal Ghost in the back here. Go for a Magic Archer all the way off to the side. Okay, he's gonna go for a Poison again. I'm gonna try to save up for a P.E.K.K.A. right now and just do another single lane push. All right, he's gonna Goblin Hunt. Even with doing this, you know, this uh, play style with a single lane, it's still extremely hard to break through, man. This deck is super toxic, the one that I'm playing against. So yeah, I'm trying my best out here, but you know, hopefully, you know, this video or this, you know, this match, We'll uh, show you guys how to beat it if I win this matchup, hopefully, because I ain't trying to lose against this guy. Hmm, I think, yeah, he's just getting so much value, man. Let's go for a peck in the bag again, because he just used poison. Go for a battle ram right here. Okay, let's poison everything again. Oh my gosh, man. This deck is just so toxic. No, my magic guard is walking away. That actually might be game, to be quite honest, because he's just going to poison everything again. 
Man, this matchup is so annoying, bro. I swear. Back of the back again. I think I'm gonna have to get a magic archer right here, to be quite honest. I can't really get damage any other way, but um Poison everything. And Magic Archer is getting a good amount of damage from me right there to kinda catch me back up a little bit. Go for Royal Ghost right here because he doesn't have like a good uh defender right now. Go for a zap. Okay. We got the connection. We got the connection. I'm going to poison everything so we can't get a really big counter push. I'm going to go for a magic archer all the way in the back so we can't really hit everything with a poison spell. Exactly. So I'm going to go for a bandit right here. And um, I'm going to apply some pressure with this battle room right here so we cannot make another graveyard push. And just kind of be really aggressive for the last hot seconds. And I think I actually got this game in the bag. That magic archer plus the battle ram in the last minute zap really helped me win the game right there. So that was super well played. Super annoying matchup, but uh, I really pulled through right there. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, hopefully this video helps and I'll do more in the future.